Hey folks, welcome to iHeart Board Games, the only place with so much heart, so much fun. My name is Jesse. With me I have... Melissa! And also across the table we have... Joe! And Travis! That's right. And today we are here to play Mystic Veil, vale, a game by John D. Sinclair by AEG. And this is a deck building game, well, what do they call it? A card crafting system game. Where you make your own cards from the 20 you have. Hello, Magrady. Ooh. Hey, Magrady. What's Magrady. up? Hello, hello. And thanks for that host, Jesse J. Thank you for the host, Jesse J. So, yeah, everybody here has the same 20 cards. In different orders. In different orders. Oh, we shuffle. I don't know. Maybe someone has it in the same order. But what's the likelihood of that? I don't know. Very, Astronomical. Very low. <laughs> And we also each have a mana token, which currently is on its gray side. Mine's a woman play token. Later. So let me tell you how to play this game. Please do, Jesse. So here on the table, look at that, I already have the, uh, the rules up. Okay, it turned off. Well, we have uh, different cards you can purchase, kind of like uh, Splendor. This is a tier one, tier two, tier three. They each have different costs, which are shown um, right there, how much they cost. This is a mana symbol, so you'll be seeing that a lot. So, another thing. You can see the little tier number two. It's hey, a little Whiskey period, Nick, long time no see. Hey, Whiskey Nick. Hey. Over there we have, uh, what are those cards called specifically? They're called... The, the, the Lawn? The Field. The Lawn. <laughs> <laughs> like, I watched a video on a... Quick speed. They're called Harve Veil Cards. At the lawn. This is Mystic Veil. Those are the veils. They have uh, Tier 1 veils and Tier 2 veils. You can see their cost quite different. Uh, you see the little gray number in the corner. That's victory points at the end of the game. Sometimes they're located in cards as well. As you go up in tiers, often the bottom ones won't have that. Anything you see in the green are abilities you get um, in your deck. So, for example, this, every time this is drawn, you're going to take four victory points. The game ends when 33 victory points are used. That's how many are in here. And there's other things that are used to buy, which we can go over later, like these things. You see they match the symbols over on the veils. That's what they're used for. This is a wild symbol. Mm -hmm. These are cursed symbols. And we're also, in our decks, we're going to have these blue symbols like this. Veils are so pretty. Yeah, I mean, they don't really need to be that big of cards, but they're that big because of the art. Some of us like to do tarot readings with cards from yes. board games. So. <laughs> this is the perfect way to do it. Like, ooh, long life with I see a moose things. in your future. So everybody's turn is going to be four phases. Let's go to this one. See, I knew she messed it up. Oh, just a little bit too low. <laughs> There we go. Oh my god, how many fingers does he have? Ah! Alright. <laughs> so, the first thing you're going to do is the planting phase. In your very first turn, you're not really going to have much of a <laughs> planting phase. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Well, the whole table's like that, too. It makes sense. <laughs> Long time also, ago. it's a giant card. <laughs> After that, you're going to have the harvest phase. But first off, the planting phase. It's really going to take effect in your second turn. What it is is where you can push your uh, field which will make sense after I go over the prep phase. I'll get back to that planting phase. So let's start the harvest phase. So if you didn't spoil from the planting phase, ah, which hasn't been really been dis... I think you played this on digital? Yeah. They have a digital version. I would recommend you get it on sale because at retail it's fourteen ninety nine, hmm. which is really high for a uh, board game app. It's actually not on iOS. It's just on uh, PC, I believe, or Steam. So if you did not spoil, you count up your blue symbols, which are shown here. And I'll tell you about this pile in a second. And you harvest your, uh, resolve your harvest abilities on your field, score any uh, victory points you may have gotten. But you use those mana symbols to buy new things. So this one costs two, this one costs four. And as you go up here, this costs nine and seven, etc. You could always buy from this stack. In this stack, it's just fertile soil singles. And you can choose where they go. So How much can, are those? These are just two. Okay. So you can take the one off the top, but you don't have to. You can take, you know, fill in whatever position you need, as long as it's available. And likely will be. And a lot of these are flipped upside. Those are always available. And um, 
the order you play out everything, like buying veils, buying cards, you decide that order during your harvest phase. During the discard phase, which is step three, you're going to take any advancements you bought and you're going to sleeve them into new cards. You get to choose which cards you, uh, to put it in, you know, because you're going to have a bunch of cards out. Maybe not like that. It has to be in a card that's already out, though. Yeah, you're going to take a card and you're going to sleeve it in there. So a fully advanced card will have three cards in it. Uh, you can't cover up other advancements. It's either going to be in the first position, second, or third position. Uh, you can, however, cover up the long, uh, these little long details here. You might have one that's in the middle and the bottom. You may end up covering that in that case, but that's the only thing that could be covered. Uh, and then, after you sleeve your cards, the next player can begin. But while the next player is taking their turn, you're on phase four, which is the prep phase. This is where you take your new cards and splay them out in your field. Now let me tell you all about that because that goes into the planting phase for the, your next time. So the prep phase, you're playing out cards in your field until you've reached three cursed lands, meaning two shown on your field and the one on the top of your deck. So I'm still good there. Okay, there's a cursed land, so that stays there. So now I'm, I'm done with my prep phase all while Travis has been taking his turn. So when it comes back to me, I'm taking my plant phase, planting phase. I can continue to push my deck, meaning I can accept this just so I can get the extra thing. But if a cursed land shows up here, I have to skip my harvest phase. Like that. Like you do. I would skip my harvest phase, meaning I, I can't buy anything or anything. I just jump to my discard phase, which is discarding everything. But if I do that, I get to flip this over. What that does is grant me an extra mana to use at a later time. When I've used it, I flip it back over. Now the other option is to not push. You know, let's say I'm fine with the two mana I have, and I would take my harvest phase as normal. And then all this would go into a discard pile, and then this would be my first card for my next prep phase. And so that would get, keep going for my prep phase, so now we see the cursed land there. And then I could actually push, and it'd be successful. And you could keep pushing if you want. I wouldn't advise it because eventually you're going to hit Cursed Lands. Because <laughs> those don't leave your deck. However, there are ways to get around them. If you look on the back of here, there's a growth symbol there uh, that can cancel out one of your Ooh, cursed wow. items. Uh, mana, I've already went over. That's just how you buy things. VPs. How many curses till you spoil? Yeah. So if you have four on the field part, up here is not your field. On your deck top is not your field. So if you just have it ready, you know, coming in next, then you're good. So, um, yeah, I may not have shown enough there. So victory points, pretty much uh, spirits. I've went over. That's how you buy the uh, veils. Guardians are the only symbols I haven't gone over. They're, they're going to be listed on the art themselves. I would advise if you make a card with a guardian on it, you probably want everything to have guardians on it. Because guardian cards often will have effects that count up the number of guardians on a card. Mm -hmm. For example, this stag card adds two guardians but doesn't have a guardian effect. But this one looks for guardians. It says gain one victory point for each guardian on this card. So, if, well, this couldn't work together because they're in the same spot. But this one could work with this, so that would be two guardians, which would be two victory points every time you play that card. So it's pretty good. Um, other than that, like I said, game ends whenever this little stack runs out, which is 33 victory points here. You add your victory points together, plus all the victory points on your cards, and you have your points. Any questions? Hey, where did those Veil cards go? Veil cards will be played in front of you. They will never go away, and they will be always in effect. So some of them just add victory points, as you can see. Some of them actually do things like add a permanent uh, growth symbol, which is the green symbol, which can be pretty cool. That means you're good to play a lot more curse cards than that. And you have to use these symbol things to buy them? Yes. I see. 
Keep in mind that they these, stay in your field. They do stay in your field. Yeah. Keep in mind that whenever you play stuff like this, it's only good for buying those things, and you might not see the combination you need out there. So be careful with those. Mana symbols, you can always use those because you can always acquire new cards. Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. All right. And Joe's first player. Joe is first player because on the back of these things, one of them had a star, and I randomly assigned them, and it went to Joe. You're so lucky. So Joe's going to begin with his... Planting thing. Yeah. Well, Certainly. yeah, kind of a prep phase, really, just to yeah. start... Do we all do that at the same time, or we wait for the person at the beginning of the game? I don't know if they really go over that. <laughs> uh, set up fields. Each player makes their starting field until you have two cursed lands in your field and a third one on deck. Oh, so we all just land. You can't put that in my area. How far, how far oh, do I sorry. go? You go until you hit your third cursed land. Yeah, everybody's going to do that. There it is. For example, I'm doing pretty well. So let's stop. Yeah. yeah. No, well, go you, each player makes their starting field until they have two cursed lands on the oh, field dear. and the third one on deck. I got a bunch of nothing. Same. So leave your third one, <laughs> Joe. Leave your third one on deck because you don't get to play with that one. Okay. One, two, three, four, four five, five, six, seven, so eight, eight nine, two. ten. I have literally half my deck out. <laughs> That's good. But you know you're doomed for the rest of the yes. Deck. <laughs> Happy belated birthday, Travis. Happy Thank birthday. you, Whiskey Nick. I did have a great day. <laughs> so now Joe I think I has asked the about choice you on my birthday. I was like, to add your Whiskey on deck Nick? card to the field. I've seen that he's been on the PlayStation field. Well, like what does that do? Thing. Just give me another mana. It and would, but you if push. you reveal the on deck card of a cursed land, you're, you, you lose get your nothing. Yeah. You lose. Good and day, you, sir. You push your luck a little bit. Turned over. I'll just keep it as is. Yeah, it's probably it's it probably works. And this is the only one I can buy. So right. Yep. So unless you want this thingy. Right, unless you want fertile soil. Which just gives you... Peacekeeper Druid, once this turn, if you were to spoil, which is when the Cursed Land shows up, you can discard your on-deck card and set. So oh, that's cool. if you were to reveal Cursed Land, you could discard it instead. So it protects you once, which now, is not so bad. Now we have Grassland. Cost four. Yep. Price is just so one. yeah, it gets replenished. Um, so I can afford that. Now, Joe, you can sleeve that. Into one of your other things. I need opera glasses to play this game. Yeah. Well, we can read them out. Like I'll, I'll, that's fine. Hmm. So, so now it's Melissa's turn. She has two. Are you pushing it? Pushing. She's pushing. So if this is a cursed land, she loses her turn, basically. Ah! Womp, womp, womp. So she gets her mana symbol. So she skips phase two. But now she gets to basically do that, and while I take my turn... Oh, Joe. Oh, yeah. I just discard, yeah. discard those cards and go ahead and start your next prep phase. Does that stay on top? Well, that's going to be your first card out. Okay. So these go on the bottom? Discard. Discard pile. Oh, these are going to discard pile. Okay. Yeah, because once you run out of cards, you shuffle them all back together. Well, goodness gracious. All right, I am not going to push. I got ten, Melissa, <laughs> so I feel you. I'm going to go... Does the mana over here count? No. It's only the ones in on your deck. Field. Does not count just Got on it. the field. You have four. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm not mad about it. You know what, Melissa pushed. I'm gonna. Oh, ah. is it <laughs> I'm sure? gonna learn from her mistake. When you just I got good. Yeah, I'm Same. gonna push. Come on. Nope. Uh, Whammy. Well, but I get this thing, which can be helpful. Ooh, now time. I have five manas. Oh wait, on deck stays. Yeah. These go away. So you can begin, I begin my prep. Um, I'm not going to push, because four mana is fine. You. Um, you can afford any of these. I'm going to take... Uh, now, as Joe, far as... you got to leave... The last, the I'll third on. one has to be on deck. Yeah. Okay. As far as bottom or middle, is there any... Like, are there more cards in the middle? Are there more yeah. on the bottom? Whiskey Nick, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Is there what? Is there any reason? So, like, these two cards are identical, say, the placement of this. Like, mm -hmm. is there, like, are there a lot of good, like, is the middle always think, a good spot? I think it spreads it out. It spreads it out? Yeah. All right. Then I'm going to take, um... There's... This one. Why not? Tier 2 Wild Veil. Um, so that's all I can spend. All right. Um, so now it's your discard phase where you uh, sleeve, it. sleeve, and then these get replenished. And all of these cards. <gasps> Oh, I like that. 
So this is the first card in my field now. Correct, and now Joe can go. Well, that was a short, much shorter. <laughs> well, it's probably all curse cards from now. Yeah. There's a minute and a half. So if I move this in, I, oh, have to, man. I have to flip one more over, right? Yep. Yeah, if you want to push. push. Or you can there's spin two to, to get a fertile soil. I'm going to get a fertile soil because I don't think there's. Does he get to choose whatever one? Or yeah, which position would you yeah. like it in? Which, which um, If I had a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the, the middle one. The middle? Okay. okay. This works okay. Whiskey Neck, how's uh, fatherhood treating you? Yeah, and Gloomhaven. Gloomhaven. Uh, you gave birth Gloomhaven. to Gloomhaven? <laughs> There's a minute and a half. Are you done, Joe? All yes. right, Melissa can go. I am not pushing right, my luck. Play it out. I you have would, four, it looks like. I would like an eyeball on that moon wolf. Yeah, I would. If you have four. I'm definitely in my moon wolf. If I had been there in my turn, I'd have mm -hmm. taken it. See. Yep, I'm getting the moon wolf. I'm putting it. Uh, I'll put it with this fertile soil. That mm -hmm. seems like a good card. Anything else? And you're not limited to just buy one. You can buy as many well, as you can. But afford. I only have one more mana. Oh, I'm sure. I know. I know. So I'm done. That was, right. that was four mana. Life bringer seed. Cancel this. all bad stuff on this card. That could be good, with the right combination. Um, cost five. We have a yeah, druid that's song. Not asked for. While in your field, you have one less mana to spend. Oh, it eats one. But it's a. It cancels a cursed land. That's the. That's yeah. That's true. I looked at it. And take this one. It's about time she got to work, Whiskey <laughs> Nick. <laughs> All right. She just needs to start earning her keep. <laughs> Who are you, Travis? My turn? Yes. I'm going to take a fertile soil. I would take one on the bottom, please. A fertile soil on the bottom. There's one. That's going to complete my turn. I don't take this one. Holy blanks. Glad Holy blanks. <laughs> This comes out a wayfinder on the bottom. It looks like a good card. So it's Melissa's turn now. Mm -hmm. Shock. <laughs> you got four to spend, on. Melissa, if you were so inclined. A wayfinder. Hey, Evan Diesel. Hello, Evan Diesel. Yeah. We are mystical veiling. We're so in the veil right now. I'm yep. going to take this here Druid Song. Cool. And I'm going to use up my man over here. Just here. Put are it on this, quite reflective. Put on this Cursed Land. We have a Mindful Owl. Oh, it's a Mindful Owl. Oh, my God. It's so expensive. <laughs> you may discard any other card oh, in your Oh, theme. wait, wait, don't, don't, don't. This, this, uh, wait a second. Melissa broke the game. What happened? The one that was on the top has to go over here. I forgot. Correct. That. Okay, and then I start to yeah. this. Okay. Um, I suppose I, I can buy. Oh, keep going. Okay. Let's go for the wellspring. I'll go ahead and spend my mana. And these three. Just start a whole new card. A whole new card. A whole new card. Can you replenish, please? Not that it's going to make a difference. It's all right. Oh, it's only two? Oh. It's only two. What, what is, is it? it? It's an Earth Chant Chorus. Harvest. Other advancements added to this card cost two mana less. Oh, so it reduces cost whenever you're buying, whenever you're adding to that particular card. So you pay two to put it on the card. So in the future, when you add more to that card, it'll cost two less for whatever those are. Mm. Um, can I have a fertile soil, please, in the middle? A middle fertile soil. Thank you, Pastor. I can run I, out of cards, can so you now only I buy, discard. Can I only buy oh, one, or can I buy two? You can buy as many as you can afford. Or as many as you yeah, have so made. I have four, so I'll take this one. No. Does it replenish immediately? or No, okay. during the discard. And then I'll take a, a fertile soil. 
the top, middle, bottom. So you wouldn't get the discount immediately because they haven't been added yet to your cards. Right. Ah. You couldn't like you know, buy a fertile soil at a discount. But the next time. Ugh. How dare she with I would it. recommend putting that on a blank card. Just <laughs> that way. Yeah. Get the most out of it. Build a retaining wall. Our house came with those. <laughs> I don't even know what that is because yeah. I live in an apartment. Yeah. <laughs> This replaces. Oh, there's a deadwood harvester on the top. Uh, when played, you may discard other cards. Oh yeah, I have one of those. Hmm. I have one, two, three memories. You know what? Mm -hmm. I'm pushing. Crazy lady. It's a choice. No way means big money. No way means big money. No way means big money. No way means. Nothing. You can leave it there. Now you have four mana. Aha! Oh, what did you get? No. Oh, what are you hoping for? Fresh no whammies, big money, no whammies, big money, no whammies. <laughs> no, 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 I think, I think I'll stop there. Um, I'm going to take, oh, there's an owl, but he's cost six. Oops. I'm going to take a grasslands. While in keep your field, do you have yeah, one keep pushing. less uh, mana to spend? Oh, that's nice. What did I you search I'll to get this. that gift? Mystic. Not you. <laughs> oh, Focus, oh, I'm Melissa. taking this. There you go. Grassland. Jesse, really? Uh, it's a bit small. I'm going to put it on the blank card. Or maybe a curse card. I'll put it on this one. This Field of one. Flowers costs three, gives two mana. Ooh, that's pretty good. Maybe I'll put it on I think blank. I'll take it. Although I was thinking about getting that other guy. There we go. Grassland. Deadwood Harvester. These. Discard oh, other cards this in the field. Oh. Um. Look I'll spend these three on the field of flowers. I had it. I had it the That's worth two. Go ahead. Ooh, what are worth you? Two and it adds a helmet plus a victory point. I'm and one of these start. Things. I'm gonna take that for two mana. Ooh. Anything else? That's all I can afford. I am right, poor. This replenishes. There's a peacekeeper druid on the bottom. Ooh, I can discard. Ooh, I get to keep going. Yay! Joe's turn. <gasps> They've identified Jet the Ripper. Um, did they really? All right. So was it one of my relatives? My, uh, <laughs> Supposedly. My grandmother told me family legend is that out. one of our relatives, there was a Hedges that was questioned during the Jack the Ripper investigation as a witness because they had a like a window that looked out on one of the alleys. This is family legend. I can't <laughs> say with any certainty if it's true or not. But it is what my grandmother told me. Hmm. So I bought this one for two because I had my card that says it costs two or less to add to this card. I wonder if there's anyone prominent. Cool. Probably not. And Probably. I'm done. Right. You peacekeeper. Oh, I have enough for that. Once this turn, if you were okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy this here peacekeeper. Cause this here. I've got all these blank cards around. I'm going to add it to this blank card here. Oakley, doakley. Well, there's another peacekeeper there. But... Meh, put it on the top. So Meh. Gonna... Let's go for... Oh, my, my wolf. My wolf. My wolf. Replenish. My wolf. Yeah. There's a seedling on the top. Cancel all. Yeah, that's right. Uh, well, that doesn't that position on that card doesn't really benefit me. So on the news yesterday, they said it was a 23-year-old Polish barber. Oh, they made a musical about that. He wasn't Polish. He was British. Polish. I'm a Polish barber. I'm gonna have to remember. I think he's made a barber the barber of Seville. Yeah, yeah. Which is Spanish. The rabbit of Seville. Um. No, I can't do it. I'm just going to buy this one. Replenish, please. Replenish, please. Oh. There's a earth chant course. Oh. Harvest. Other advancements on this carcass. To the I'm going to spend <laughs> my... Sweetie Todd came to mind immediately. I'm going to spend my <laughs> five on this life bringer seed. Snicker, snicker. <laughs> All right. Oh, 
for. Oh wait, wait, that's not the one oh. I wanted. I wanted this one. Mm-hmm. The feral chieftain. That's what I wanted. Snicker, snicker. Snicker, <laughs> snicker. snicker. Mm-hmm. All right. Next, the grove tender. Ongoing. Grove tenders have one green spirit symbol for each. Uh, the, the 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 shield. Guardian. Guardian. Yeah, guardian on this card. So I have the. Guardian. Came once once his turn, if you were to spoil, you may discard your own deck card instead. So I can keep going, right? Yeah, yeah. And then well, yeah. It's if this one flips over, I discard it, right? No. Correct, correct. You can keep going. It still takes effect. It just hasn't done it yet. Okay, Oops, so that one down. gets discarded. Now your druid has been used, so if this... This could still burn you. Why? Yeah, because you still have to. You still have to have a card show up. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, that. For example. Oh, do you? What does it say? Specifically, this is when play when play search your deck for any card, you may put it in your discard pile and then shuffle your deck. Wait, one. Once this turn, if you were to spoil, you may discard your on deck card instead. So I think that meant that that card doesn't come out. Like you were, if you were to spoil, yeah, he you wouldn't just have to card. reveal yeah. that. Yeah, because the way it works That's out the way in the I planting phase, um, step A is you must pass or push. If you push, step B, uh, you resolve whatever. Uh, step C, determine if you have spoiled, and then if you have not spoiled, go back to step A where you can choose to pass or push again. So, so if do I not have to flip the next one or what? You didn't have to, no. So you can just turn that one back. I guess over. the true question is, would you have? <laughs> no, I was going to stop, but you said you know they might burn you if you. Okay, well, just stop then. Yeah, so just turn that one over, because that one's. Make me a shuffle. Those again. It's fine, it's fine. How durable are the sleeves? They're actually quite durable. Yeah, yeah they're pretty uh, thick. They're, uh. Man, it's hard to show here, but. Yeah. I'm reading about <laughs> Jack the Ripper and DNA. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and they all come with the game, which is pretty cool. Okay, I'll take this. Seed. Alright. Flip, 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 flip. Oh, another owl. Mm-hmm. When played, so you may discard any other card in your field. Well, look at how cute they are. Take your turn. Look at the cute little owls. You have one, two, three, four, five. Yep. I could push. You could. Then you could afford an owl. I know. But I could also afford, like, multiple other things. Because I could put, like... Well, I don't have a blank card, so I don't want to get this. This is best to put on a blank card. The seedling I could get for two. This is all fascinating discussion. Once ongoing. Cancel all but one on this card. All but one. Wow. By the way, if you're watching this on YouTube and you saw an this error one. over there on Joe's side, please post it because I wasn't quite Peace close enough to see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe. <laughs> okay. An error, what? Uh, in case there was something I didn't. You know what? I didn't um, even look at your other cards. That's what I should look at. I'm pressing my luck. Big money, no whammies, big money, no whammies, big money, no whammies, big no Well, now I got this one that says, when, no play, good. when played, search your deck for any card, you may put it into your discard pile. All right, so when one, is that considered two, played? Four, five, six, well, the thing uh, is, whenever you add it to your field, um, this thing now? should reveal. So you added the field, the card prior to it, to your field. That should have stayed on top of your deck is what should have happened. I'm getting this owl, and I'm putting it on here. Are there ever cards that have more than one? That's why this card got flipped over, because you added a card over here. Okay. You could have stopped there. I left it. But it says yeah. to discard that one. Right. Okay. But so you would have to show what's next, though. It's your turn. Okay. Because you should always have something shown here. What? It's your turn. Oh, okay. okay. Replenish, so, okay. please. Not that I'm going to use it. Are there ever times where you'll now have more than one cursed land Lord token I. on a card? Yes. I mean, some of these, oh, have, I see. like, you can buy them. Like, I see. Some I see. of them will have two because the ability's so good or whatever. I see. I'm going to buy the world tree over there with this symbol. Well, I was asking about this one. It says, when played, church your... When do I do that? When you played it. When I put it over here? As soon as you did it, yeah. All right. 
Well, I'll skip that this time. But. Okay. What does it do? I don't even know. I get to go through the deck and, and discard a card. Okay. So. Yeah. It's when during your phase four, you're doing all that stuff on your own. Okay. You don't have to show everybody all that. Just there's a lot of trust in this game. <laughs> Let's go with uh, what do we have? A two. A seedling. Let's see. Let's try the seedling. Oh, they all cost two. Yeah, they do. I'm gonna go for this middle card because I'm always poor. So maybe that'll be good. Is that it for you? Right. That is it for me. All right. This replenishes a grassland. Can I have a fertile soil? Um, middle. Middle. Past turn. All right. Um, I have a question about. What's up? It's Joe's turn. When it comes to my turn about this thing, this means I I can get something for one man or less. While in your field, which it is, you have one less thing to spend. Oh, so this is taking mana. away mana? Yeah, but it's also a good tree. So where's the tree helpful? It, I don't see any trees over No, here. it knocks out one of the reds. Oh. It cancels it. Oh, so sh I should have kept going. And you still can. It's not your turn yet. Okay, I didn't. All right, I have four. So I'll... that explains this card to me. So you told me what the tree does. So. <laughs> I'm like, so I'll what? take that. Yeah. Okay, Although so you'll have one less so mana, you get to keep going. So yeah, this doesn't really count. Yeah. So I should have kept going. So your your bust number is now basically five, since that's out. So this should come out because sure, one of these yeah. are gone. So that comes out, and then oh, okay. And so that's the yeah. There is good. still some debate oh. as to whether or not this DNA evidence of Jack the Ripper is conclusive. Mm. Because it may have been Ooh, the shawl that was used to singer. pull the DNA sample was could have been contaminated in the years since the crime. It mm. was in the hands of a private collector slash detective. I'm saying this so you mm. can take your turn. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, there's a new card. It says, Harvest. Gain one mana for each guardian on this card. It's a Dawn Singer. Alright, now I have this symbol and this symbol. Are there any of those? That's a wild. The purple is a wild. So I can have two greens. So you could have these. Oh, yeah, okay. Because it's. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And then that just gives you an automatic green and yellow for the rest what? of the game. Like it gives you these symbols to help you with other no, stuff. No, that's the cost. No, that's the cost. It gives you two gives victory you, points at the yeah. end of the game. Oh. Two victory points. All right, well, I'm going to grab one of those since I have the symbols out right now. Sure. And I can still buy stuff with mana because you can buy more than one thing, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. And it's like, this isn't here because of that tree. So I have one, two, three, what isn't four there? mana. Oh, this right, mana because it cause reduces the, it. Yeah. So it's like, this isn't here, so... You have four. Um, but... Always... So if this is in your field, and you go, you press your luck, is this what Joe has? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Once this turn, if you were to spoil, meaning if I move this over here and flip this over into another cursed land, mm -hmm. that goes away, and I but I still have to flip over the next. So thing. you could still you bust. Still bust. You still bust. Yeah. All right. So I'm not going to push my luck. So that's really kind of a. Yeah. It's not as good as you think. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of a. No, <laughs> no, yeah. So I'm not going to push my I mean, luck. It's good I'm for the symbol. One, two, three, four. I have four. Um, I'm gonna get this Dawn Singer and put it on the, one of these blank cards. Replenish. Interesting. And, uh, yeah, it always baffles me. It's like, how'd they get the DNA of this barber? Well, it's, <laughs> they they talk about that in the article. They tested um, his relatives, his living relatives, and the living relatives of the victim, Catherine Eddowes. I guess he was a suspect then. And he was a suspect then. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go for this one, the seedling. Replenish, please. Replenish, because I'm done. Oh, that's replenishing card. From that stack. From that stack. Uh, I don't like any of these things. Um. And we start off with a limited number. Go ahead and of give, me the, right. give me the give me the bust guy. Hey, the, give me the children. The, wait, wait, the, the, which one? Oh. oh. And I'm done. We'll put this over here. Slivers. Hey, Slivers! Having a baby! Ah. Hello. Hello. Congrats, Slivers! And thank yeah. you for the sub. <laughs> Having a baby! 
boy. Are you saying that because he's at nine months? <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I know. I was like, could what? Be a baby. I didn't say. I'm like, looking back in chat, I'm like, what did I miss? Wait, Whiskey Nick already <laughs> had the baby. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll take this. Well, there could be more than one baby. <laughs> <laughs> now that would be a coincidence well, that you said turn. if you were serious about having a baby and it was the nine month so all right so i only got two on this thing now what i'm pushing my luck I doing it card here. doing it yeah. hi yeah wow oh! <laughs> there you go bust have a mana Wait, I believe this here, right? This was the bus card. Yes. Yeah, I believe it's the first card in your is, field. Yeah, mm. next one. That was the bus card. Um. I guess I'm going for fertile soil. Same. I didn't have any trees. So I'll nothing. take one in the middle, please. I'll take one in the middle. Thank you, Joe. Ooh, look at that there card. Yeah. When... When played, you may discard any other card in your field. So as soon as I play this, now I can discard this, Actually, this red. What's that? It says when played, I just put it down. You may yeah. discard any other card in your field. So I have to discard it. Something That's down. what it says. Okay, so I can discard <laughs> this red. All right, now we're cooking. Yeah, now we're cooking. I still only have 20 cards. Like the game was designed this way. Oh, yeah, I got a tree, so it's like I can exonate this red thing. Oh, a piece key. This is like my first turn. This is like Travis's first turn. Okay, so really only have one. All of that, and I got four mana out of it. Ooh, I got a thing. Ooh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have a tree, so just cancel out with these. If what? Nothing. <laughs> I'm getting a veil, just none of those, because I don't have the stuff for it. I'm getting one of these top tier things, though. <laughs> Whose turn is it? Yours. Yours. Oh, my turn. Melissa. Oh, yeah, she busted. That's right. But I thought you got fertile soil. And then Travis got fertile soil. Then Joe went, so it is your turn. It is actually. my turn. I have for yeah. Okay. So... I want to she busted again. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because no, uh, this, like, I have a tree, so this cancels. Yeah, okay. And uh, so there's the two here and then that. And then um, I have the tree, so this one cancels. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight mana plus here, nine. Look at Ooh, you. Nine mana, nine mana. That's two victory points every time. Of course, yeah. that's four every time. <gasps> Ooh, yeah. this one, this one. Now they're different. It's a stag. It's a four stag. victory points. It does have cursed on it. The though. gray ones add, are added at the end of the game. In the, the right. Blue or instant. Yeah, but blue yeah. or instant, yeah. yeah. And that's how, and we that's how the end game, game will finally end. Is that, is that blue as well? That's blue, yeah. Oh, okay. Because okay. it's in this little area. Gray goes in the pitcher. Oh, uh, okay. Melissa, what you doing? Are you done? I'm taking this stack. I'm just that's trying to figure out which card. Well, right, I only so have nine turn, mana. All right. So Wait, I have to. Phase. I think I had to use this mana thing. Let me count. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Make sure she can even buy it. Well, I know I can. I just don't know if I have to Two, use this or not. Four, six. Because remember, one cancels because of the tree. All right. Eight, nine. So this canceled. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I use this. All right. All right. So now I just gotta find a card to put it on. When played, you look at your next on deck. You may discard it. Calm weather. <coughs> Dread coil cobra. Four points. Okay, so I also have this card out, the Earth Chant Chorus. Other advancements cost two less. Wait, but when I add it to this. So, and I have seven. So I think I will referral chieftain. Victory points equal to that. Um, so I can get that for five, six, seven. 
open in your field have one less to spend. So I'm going to buy this for five. I'm going to buy this for two. So that's seven because I'm putting them all on the same card. Wow. Wow. So this replenishes this. And I have nothing to buy over there. And this replenishes this. No, 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 no. No, that was... This no. is... No? From, yeah, nothing so replenishes So nothing ever replenishes these? No, these right. are tier one. <laughs> okay. Um, are you done? I am. I'm going to take this Leyline Nexus. Yay. Um, and I guess I'm going to take, with my four mana, I'm going to take this Dawn Singer. And be done. I'll take a curse. I mean, a fertile soil. You'll take a, <laughs> a curse, curse fertile soil. Curse fertile soil. <laughs> Whiskey Nick can tell us all about that. Huh? 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 Some of these cards are incomplete. I know. How dare they rob, <laughs> of, rob us of cards? You got ripped off. They make us do all the designing. Incomplete. <laughs> okay. Um. Design a board game. The game. <laughs> the game, pretty much. Okay, this is the wild symbol, right? Yeah. Um, Swirly and wild. Card crafting I'm, system. I'm pushing. So you it. could get either I'm of these. I'm pushing. I'm pushing. I'm or pushing. No whammies. I was going to say, like, I had a really good turn, and now I got <laughs> fertile soil coming my way. Okay, so I can get a veil. I can either get the Exodus Road, because I have this wild, or I can get the Pinnacle, or the the little birds. What do they all get? This is just two points. This, you gain... At harvest, you gain... Uh, Whatever that is. Yeah. What is that? Yeah. Oh, that's one of those. It's one of the. It's symbols. one of the things you buy other yeah. cards with. Yeah. Oh, like you can get those. Yeah, things yeah. Until mm -hmm. there, and then this one, once per turn, you may spend two mana to use any. Yep. Of mm. Those. Ooh, I like this. Oh, I put it with this. Yeah. Just don't forget about it. Yeah. Well, this one doesn't have anything but points. Yeah. So I can cover like that. It's over to me. I'm pushing. Wait, wait, I still got my manas. You said I can buy more things. Gain one mana for each uh, on the card, so that's one there. One mana. One, two, three, four, five. I have five mana. What can I get? Must this be nice thing. Man. I don't know. That's why I'm pushing just thing. to get my little mana symbol. <laughs> and put it here. I don't know if I want fertile soil. Cool. I know you good? it helps. Done. All right. What do we have there? Hulking something. Door five. Door nine. Right. Well. You busted. Well. Cancel all but one. Yeah, so that's a bust. Uh, so I'm gonna flip this, and it's your turn. Fertile soil, go, Joe. That's one thing I guess I didn't. I didn't remember reading was the uh, bust. I can get this one. I like these tree things when they get to cancel the reds because you get to keep going then. Yeah. Because this got to cancel right. so I got these in it. I mean, it takes this. Melissa, it's your turn. Oh, already? Yes. Oh, goodness. It right. moves fast. Okay, so I get the four points right now, right, for the stag? Yes. Every time that gets played, you get four points. All right. This cancels because of this. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven mana. Hmm. Got a rock. Yeah, seven mana. I'm just not good at deck builders. <laughs> Oh, when this was, was played. I was going to say, you're already doing better than mm -hmm. my turn. Oh, dang. When this was played, I should have discarded a card out of my mm -hmm. thing. So I'm going to discard have a... this. So this could have gone out. Whose turn is it? Melissa's. Yeah. Okay, so that should be out. All right. 
So that gives you me. Well, I had this with the. It also has a green one on it. So can I just go yeah, ahead? Yeah, that's. I was just looking up. Like, can I go ahead and put it out and then flip another one and see? Well, yeah. If you put it out, it cancels itself. It's still so, yeah. Yeah, okay. so. I have seven men. No, no, I'm stuck. And a bear claw. And I could spin once per turn. You may spend two mana to use any of those. So anything of a bear claw. So yeah, the growth yeah. symbols do count on your on deck card. So it would cancel out immediately. Alright, I just spam and I didn't see you come in. I'm gonna take this card. Yeah. Sorry, I know that it. By using by using two mana, I use this card. So that's the sun and my bear claw. Mm -hmm. Okay. So got that. And then seven six I have five mana left. And with the five mana, I will take this. And I will put it. Is that your turn? Yes, that's my turn. Mm -hmm. Replenish that. I will put it on. Let's get another card. Put on this card. Oh, if only it were in the good spot. What, um, if, what if you put two red trees on one card? I haven't done then that. Then you yet. have two. Then you'll have two. Oh, this card counts for two on one card. It could be a pretty yeah. bad mean that's card. That's how math works. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, then you pick one of the green things. Put it on the blank yeah. one. Or you get a thing that oh. says cancel all yeah. red on yeah. this card. Yeah. All but one. Oh, yeah. I don't have any cards like that. But this can cancel the, the, the tree yeah. can cancel the thing, so that'll work. Cool. And here. Hmm. Sorry, just Pam and I that I'm, I'm, <laughs> this game in theory moves very quickly, so I was paying attention. I'm gonna go for calm weather by using my mana symbol. I'm just gonna put this here with another curse. Everybody's why not? rich. I'm poor. <laughs> I have a lot of poor turns. Um, but I do have four mana. Is it really? <gasps> um, I'm going to buy two Fertile Soils. I'm going to take a, this one to go there. And I'm going to take a bottom one. We're almost out of Fertile Soils. There's so many hearts. <clears throat> All right, I have eight to spend. I'll take that. Okay, this replenishes. It is a Woodland Warden. Woodland Warden? Woodland Warden? He doesn't give anything, but gain two... Victory points for each Guardian symbol on it. Yeah. That's pretty good. Oh, I just realized I have a cancellation here. All right, um, I'm going to cancel the spoil. So, so if I've got this, does the guardian on the card count, Jesse? I, I yeah. counted mine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay, so I take this card, and I could discard it. Correct? It's like tail of two trees. It's like the best of times, <laughs> and it's the, the worst of times. Yeah. You're a spoil. Now I have two. Well, I'm going to try it. Yeah, that's how my turn. Yeah, I had a great turn. Best of times, yeah. and awful turn. Turn. Worst turn. This is now, an eh turn. I shuffle. That's one of those turns. Mm -hmm. I, I gotta see what's gonna happen. You're supposed to do that at the end of, you know, at the beginning of my turn. I still think we need to change the name of the channel to Melissa's <laughs> Turn. Because then we have Melissa Sings, Melissa's Turn. Then we just yeah. need one more Melissa channel to round things out. That's the board game turn. Can you cook? Melissa Sings while you're turn. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa cooks ah! games while singing. So you can leave that there, but if you add it, you get a new one deck card. Oh. You leave that there? Okay. And yeah, you can have a good, good thing. All right, I'm going to take a Fertile Soil. I will take just one. One in the middle and put it here. He's thinky. Travis is thinking. All right. It's quick turns until... Discard. Listen. And go. Well, the Spam and I, I no longer have as much incentive to pay one, attention two, to chat. Three. Oh! So I'm going to gain four points. Wow. From my Dread Coil Cobra. Well, I've kind of wasted his guardian symbol on there, but that's okay. But I have one less thing to spend, so I really only have two of these out. Um, Man, all those guards. All those guards, I have two. So I guess I'll buy... I was going to say, there's very little fertile soil left. Yeah. It's all going away. Are you done, Jesse? I'm actually going to... We're all on the top. Oh, bummer. That's fine. 
Two topsoil. Two topsoil. <laughs> topsoil. <laughs> topsoil. <laughs> um, can I and have a um, victory point for my guardian, please? One victory point for you. Yay! A point. Yay! Um, and I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna try. Wait, Travis used a notice chart. He ah. did. He's got three points of mana. That's about it. And he's gonna take a fertile soil and. I'm gonna take a fertile soil. And no! there's no more fertile soil. Fertile soil. Okay, I am going to take. The one. land has been tilled. I'm gonna take four points for my stag. Mm-hmm. Ooh, this is this is shaking. I'm just gonna take, gonna take a five. Here I'm gonna take a five and give back a one. Man, this deck is getting thicker, even though there's no uh, <laughs> like, there's still only twenty cards. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna take this the here. Cards getting better. I think I might take the like. Oh, I might take this. Uh, wait, I got a bear claw and then an anything. If I spend two of these mana, and I'll still be left with four mana. Did they stack? If you got the same thing twice. Yeah, I would think so. Each card would be able to activate one. Yeah. They don't get points. That's the thing. Oh, I didn't even see this come out. So this would have gotten discarded. So that means this whole thing would have been discarded. Bear claw, and I get this. You could gain one mana from that. Oh, gain one mana. Oh, just looking at symbols. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna take this lake with my bear claw, and then a green thing over here. So I get a lake. It doesn't get activated immediately. Technically, it's added. Yeah. So uh, I got four. I have four mana right now because that took two. I use my bear claw. I got my four points. I have like four mana. Oh, the lake's back. Oh, uh, it's returned. Good. I don't. I don't have enough. The smallest thing is five. I only have four mana left, so I have to move on the doggies. So that Done. cancels each other. One, two. There's the third. All right. So I still only have one less to spend, so basically that's used. I get four victory points. That's one. I'm going to exchange uh, five for five. So I have one, two, three. I'll buy the lake. So I have three tokens left to spend. Can't buy anything. So I will call it there, I guess. I'm going to spend my five. I have six. Do I want the Midnight Owl? I'm not sure if the... What's the, the uh, benefit of discarding people? any other card in your field? What's the point of that? Getting rid of, like, just think something that's just has a curse on it or something. Um, you may discard. I guess I'll take that. Yeah, sure. Four, 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 six. Yeah, I'll take this. I have a question. Yeah, so, I have a card. Do I get the points immediately or only if I, I don't bust? You'll get it on your turn. Um, Joe, it's Yeah, right. well, yeah. you would collect it on your harvest phase. So, if you bust, you don't take a harvest phase. Yeah. Okay. So, you want to collect it. I have choices. <laughs> take the points. Take the All points right, and take try the to risk. Go you can me discard. Fertile soils. Fertile soils. <laughs> <laughs> they actually tell you how many you've added in a game. I was gonna say the video I watched. They're like, oh, don't worry. There's always plenty of these, and I'm like, but there's not. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna play this one. <gasps> He's so that means I get to search this and discard the card. Actually, fertile soils. Yeah, there's. We play with everything. That's right. Yeah, it's just. The only thing we took out were uh, some advancement ones. But you play with all of the advancement too. And in theory, we're supposed to be doing way better than we are. <laughs> I'm like, did I just not build a good economy? I mean, I get a good economy every once in a while. Like every every other turn is good. <laughs> I just, it's Joe's. 
I had to choose a card to discard because I played this one. I searched through the deck and so gotcha, I, gotcha. I don't know what I'm. Yeah. Ooh, money, money, money. So money. do that. Wait. So that stays on top of your. That deck. stays on top. Okay. Yeah. Unless if you play it you though, push. then you're. No. Yeah. Oh, that would have to come out. There's nothing for three. You can still get the three points. I think it's not going to discard though. Yeah, All right, I just do the get your uh, three. There's nothing to buy for three. Mm, there's nothing for just one sun. It's a shame to waste those two points, though. Yeah, I'll take. I get the three points. Eight. Three points. All right, Melissa. I get three points. I got a rock. <laughs> oh, okay, keep going. And I tried to pay attention to chat, but now no one's talking. Huh? <laughs> huh? I'm gonna take... What are y'all doing? Living your lives with your babies and your wives? <laughs> One, two... Those things. Three. Maybe the minute and a half delay is growing to five minutes. <laughs> oh man, you should have kept going. Look at that. Oh, he has the two curse things. This, there it I have is. This oh, that goes on top I got of a deck. tree. Oh, okay, so, so that cancels, cancels the one that's on it. Yeah, so now that's on deck. Wow, that'll be a good turn for you. No. Okay, so it cancels this mana. So I just, I really have one, two, three, yeah, I have four. I only have four mana. That doesn't buy anything. <laughs> He's in my mana. Mana. <laughs> So I use this wild. I don't only have. And this sun. You don't have the oh that's a the tree the wrong tree yeah. sorry on the sun to get the iconography blend is very similar yeah no I thought that was the same thing for a while until we earlier I'm gonna grab mm. does this mean you have to have a while to play that you have to have a while that yeah, means three things yeah or I think it's probably one of anything I mean it's three different colors it's probably one of anything. yeah uh, one of anything okay. are you done Melissa yes done Jether. I'm going to push. Oh. Crud. Oh, wait, it has the green. Whew. All right. So I have five now because of this Azure Lake, and that's all I wanted. <laughs> so I can grab a Lifebringer Seed. And I'm done. Well, I've only got four, and nothing out there is worth four, so I'm going to push for the first time in the game just out of sheer boredom and a busted <laughs> but I got a mana point out of it oh you can look at the next oh no all right Sneeze, so nothing I was going to kick for your birthday but <laughs> you're yelling made it oh fall. it's ruined oh okay. that happens I get two points two points and I'm gonna buy eight points away from it. Eight points away from the end. Mm -hmm. Oh my! Oh, wow. So that's my on deck card. Good. All right. Um. One. The hive swarm. Two, three, four. There's a game that just launched on Kickstarter called Sukuyumi. From Gabe, Gray Fox Games. Tell me what you think about the video. That reminded me of the Hive Swarm because yeah. you can play as insects. Insects. Yeah. All right, I'm pushing. Push. And yay! Oh, this just goes right there. That's cool. that's on top of the deck I need to reshuffle. Just Another card in the field. Sure. All right. So one, two, three, four. Cancel all five. these cards. Sweet. I still only have one. I have five. So I'm going to. Discard another card in the field if I want to. No, I'll keep it. Still have one. Um, yeah. Five, I'm getting this plow. Still one. New card, please. There's two. And I'm done. Another. There's my third plow. Another plow. Out at the top. Nice. 
Okay. I have some cards my here. Book. Cards are getting covered One, here. One, two, three, four. Help. I know I have a, the reduction thing in here somewhere. Hey, Abby. Hey, Abby. Hey, Abby. So we're going to get five. We're playing a complicated card game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wow. Abby, I hear your homework's all done. And I have symbols, but I can't buy any of those. Six. Okay, this one cancels out. That so can go. Eleven. Got hive swarms. Gonna do something for. It. Oh right, I had to cancel all on this card, but it's at the bottom. If I. So I'm gonna get. They're, they're playing a different game. Okay. Clearly. Um, Discarding that with this owl. This can go out. Cancel all but one on the card. Oh. This will have two because this can't. About this one. So two. And this goes here. This one can go up top and. Oh, some good science words, huh? Yeah, this game is fun, Abby. It's, um. I'm not good at this type of game, but it is nonetheless fun. Mm. So I can get that for five and a six. Kind of makes that one useless, but that's okay. There's a curse line, cancel all, which I already did. I can cancel all on this one. So this is five, and this is... Cool. Wasn't there a six on here somewhere? That one you just had your hand on is worth six. This is five. This is five. I can just come back two fives. Oh, of course he is. <laughs> oh, actually, I had 12. I just realized. Oh, of this, he will whatever. be going... Uh, We'll be going out of town soon, so... He's, he's, he's out today. He's out. Out. Are you done, Jesse? Out. Uh, yes. I need two points, please. Because I have two of these. Unless you're talking Gain about Gain one that point for each thing on this card. Gain one point for each. Can they I have two victory that. points, please? Two victory points. <gasps> Uh-oh. How many left? Two. Which means it's going to end. Which means on your turn, the game ends. Yep. So what's going to get me some points? Oh, wait. Do we get... One, two... Yeah, that's Five, where I should have gone. Six. Do we get another turn since he went first and he's in the game? Do we finish out? Does I'll tell you in a second. I think everybody gets one last turn. Okay. Nothing's worth do. two. What happens when I kick in my three points? I don't know. Uh, each uh, Finish playing the current round so that each player gets an equal number of turns. So he's first player, so we'll know. Well, what about my points on here? I just don't get them. You won't have an artist phase. Like if Travis ends it? No. No, Travis Joe's isn't ending it. Joe's if Joe ends it. it, we all get another turn because he was first player. But the, all the points are going to be gone, so how do I get these oh, points? Oh, there's a lot more. Oh, we oh we can use those. Yeah, it's just those mark the end of the game. Joe, it's your turn. Oh, okay. Should I go for it? Yes. Take the win. Steal it. No. Now, he was owed three. Does he get his full three? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, hold on, we got to yeah, he's, see what... he could bust and not take it. Oh. Don't count on him ending it. <laughs> well, then I'm going to end up ending it because I have a three here and I'm going to be done. I'm not sure. So no matter what, Joe, this is your last turn. Yeah, no. That's why I was like, should I, should I go for it? Press my luck? I'm only just now getting good cards. <laughs> oh, there's nothing I can buy with that. There's like nothing. Yeah, no, there's no way for me to I'd have to go through all my whole deck and then try hope for it to come out again. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, anything with gray is going to be victory points at the end. A bear. Yeah, yeah, no, but I only have two. three. Bye, Abby. Bye, Abby. Have fun Bye. reviewing your science words. I have three. Which one does this do? Oh, I've already added to that one until it's full. And so I have... Mm -hmm. I'll just take my three points then. All right. Three points. All right, so this last is the turn. last, last of everything. All right. Man, I was just getting good stuff, and I have two. <laughs> All right, um, I three, need, I need my Might three well victory it. points. One, two, three victory points for the card. I could push, but why? Okay. Because well, I can't um, afford anything. No, as well as harvest. I just need gain, one more card to buy that hawk. Gain one point for each. <laughs> Guardian on this card. There are two, so I gain two more points for the Guardians. 
Mm-hmm. Now I get uh, one Magridi, uh We had a bowl of victory points. It was 30 victory points. And once we pulled 30. the 30th, 33rd victory mm-hmm. point, that means everybody gets to finish out the round. Yeah. Equal number of turns. Joe was the first player. So I have one. I think Melissa's doing the best. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> one, two. I knew going into this I was going to lose. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten minus one of them for this, so that's nine. <laughs> yeah, no, you're gonna lose this bad though. That's what you... No, I did. <laughs> I, I deck did. builders like I just haven't played enough of them. Like I know well, this one enough. also is because you can change the card. Because I really, I, one time I took one that I couldn't place on anything, and so I just had to put it on the card by itself, and it does it did nothing for me ever. <laughs> yeah, like I well, it gives them value a little bit. But no, it was a, it was a cancel all red on this card, and I grabbed it, and I realized that it was the only one. Oh. All the th- cards I had out were in the middle, and it was in the middle, so I couldn't. I put got it. oh, and I was like, okay. I should have stopped and think, redone it, but I was right. like, I've I've made this decision, so, I was <laughs> like, oh, yeah. so because later I'm on you could have gotten some red. Yeah, well, I was, uh, if I get that snake, I was like, I could put the snake in that card right. if that card comes so out of the opportune time to do that. So and I have the grassy thing here, and then I have the the sun thing here, and then the wild here. What am I missing? What are you going for? The feral victory. The f- what? I have the grass oh. thing here and here. So I got grass covered. I got the little sun thing here, here and here. So I got, got that. And then I have the wild thing here. Oh, and then I have this where I can get a bear claw for two sure. mana. Yes, so Feral Grove. Okay, so how much mana do you have left over? I have that used this. I think I'd make an interesting this. existential student's short film with And this is gone for the tree. So I have left one, two, three, four, five, six, I believe. Let's talk about the okay, Super Mario Brothers live more. action movie, which I think is an underappreciated classic. Okay, I thought you were talking about a new one. John yeah. Leguizamo, yeah. Yeah, like yeah. it's yeah. it's awful yeah. and amazing. One, okay. one, Who plays the bad guy? Three. Um, Dennis Hopper. That's right, that's right. Six, seven, and Bob Hoskins is Mario. Nine, yeah. And then you have Daisy, who's nine, just there, and Yoshi, who looks like a little baby raptor. Eight, seven, six. If they were casting six, that today, who would... Trust the fungus. Who would play Mario and Luigi? Dora the Explorer. And well, that's a cartoon. <laughs> no, I don't know. Melissa, are you done? Is there no. for six? Um, <laughs> God, who would play Mario today? Mario and Luigi. Six. It'd be um, the guy from the, the bear. Freddie Mercury movie. The bear. Oh, Remy Malek. <laughs> yeah. Um, he could do anything. He could do anything. <laughs> See, um, I feel here. like it would be... And I'm done. All right, Jesse, it's you. I'm going to push. Oh, yeah. So that's one, two, three, four. And the hawk is still there. That's good. Because that's exactly what I can afford. Are you done? I am. Ugh! Ugh! There's no reason. One point, one point, two points. Just count up your points now. These things don't matter for anything at the end. No. Because those are all great ones. Game. So it's two points or two points. I'll take the two points. And end of game. All right. Count so up now we will great, count up right? scores on our cards. Also points in your no, possession. Nothing, 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 nothing. And also any veil cards that may have uh, things. I just noticed though that only you and I have bought veil cards. I have one. Oh, you do have one. Okay. <laughs> Didn't see that. I could bought one, but never pay attention. Oh, I had. A I didn't even it's remember so far that. Because I only got to play him like once. These don't grant points as my bail cards. These grab points. Two, four, six, right there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I might have to get the app for this, though. I have a Practice. whopping score of 13. I have a whopping score of 20. I have 15. Okay. Five. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, what was mine, 13, 20, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30,
33, Jesus. Melissa's our winner! Well done! Yay! I love quick builders. We it's my can tell. favorite mechanic. Yeah, we got destroyed on that one. She had more than double my score. I feel like there's so one. many gaps yeah. where I just didn't have like... So I think she has like the ability your to scores plus there. Jesse's score. I will <laughs> say that within the four of us, I probably pushed the most. I constantly, I was like... True. I pushed I once. I did once, yeah. yeah I, I pushed, pushed second pushed most them. and then yeah. put me in second place. Ah, oh, there's the key. I think pushing, it, it might, it might be, you know, rewarding if you do it just enough. Just enough to yeah. barely get in trouble. What, how do you Congrats, know? Melissa. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm I'm they got the side mark. Okay, I see it. Yeah, I had to count up my little grade points. Let me just double check so mm -hmm. So, this is a short night. We are still having internet problems, so, you know, our streams can't be terribly long these days. Since we are um, tethering these whole things using cell phones. Mm -hmm. But we have the technician coming in tomorrow. Hopefully that'll be fixed. Probably won't be, but you know, that's how it goes. <laughs> Hope springs eternal. <laughs> but in the future, oh, this weekend we are playing Blood Rage at 3 o'clock Central Time. We're going to have guests come in because uh, uh, Travis and Ronald are both out for that one. And we will be testing out our system for the convention we have coming up next week. We'll be doing... So we won't be in this room. We'll be in a whole new room. Oh, we'll actually be in our game room. Oddly enough, this isn't the game room. <laughs> this is not the game room. No, this is the recording area. This is my office, basically. Yeah, we'll be in our actual game room on the game table we play games on. To test out that system. And we'll be using the mics and everything. So be patient with us for that one. <laughs> um, what else do we have next week? This is normally where Ronald brings all this stuff. Yes. We have stuff oh, we have a two-player two-player game day on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. That'll just be Melissa and myself. And then on Monday, we're playing another game. We're playing a game. Some playing kind. Glux. Oh, Glux. Glux, that's, that's it. right. Yeah. That's right. Um, Jolly and Scoops are in for that one. So, and at this point, we like to raid... We'd like but to just spread the board game love. Board game uh, love. But also, once again, reminding you, uh, Saturday, not this Saturday, but next Saturday, we have the big convention. We'll be on all day, but join us as soon as you possibly can, because we're going to start off the day with Captains of the Gulf, with the designer. And we are also lining up um, some fun things to do at Dice Tower Con. And the first thing we've nailed down so far is a game with Richard Lanius. Which we'll be playing uh, Defenders of the Realm 2nd Edition with Richard over there at Dice Tower Con. So, um, I think that's it. Let's spread the board game love. Let's do it. So we got to find somebody. Normally while Ronald's saying all that stuff. Jesse's uh, ticking and clicking. Yeah. <laughs> so now I get to do that. Now I get to find someone. Let's see. Who shall we find? Who shall we find? Hi, Whiskey Nick. Good night, Whiskey Nick. Good night, Whiskey Good night. Nick. Say hi to the child for us. Oh, no. I know where these go. I'm just going to put them over there. Like learning Did you Root. Separate them? They're going to go over to Serenity okay. Game Club because they're learning Root, which is a game Root. we want to learn too. So let's go over Yeah, there. I can't believe we haven't played that yet. Root. This root is on fire. Does anybody have that? I don't think anybody does. I think that's a problem. I think that's one I'm looking forward to playing at the convention. Yeah. Root. Maybe they'll have it at Southern Board Game Fest. They will, actually. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. Very nice. Certainly will. Come on, slow internet. Slow oh, internet. Slow internet. <laughs> what is happening over here? Come on. Happening. Good night, Slivers. Good night, Slivers. Here is Thank you. Tier three. So, what did everybody think of this neat little game? I if I wasn't playing with deck builder pros, I'd have enjoyed it a lot more. <laughs> but no, I enjoyed it. I think it's yeah. a neat mechanic. I would play it again. Yeah, I like it. Play yeah, it they again. have a bunch of expansions. Too. I, I had, can't imagine one of them. Oh. Yeah. As deck builders, I had very do. little yeah. 
like memory of playing it going into it, but it's it all you know really clearly it came back to you. Yeah. Sonny. <laughs> Deck builders, Thank I will you. I will say it's um, it's a mechanic that's uh, pretty pretty easy going for you know, trying to remember. Yeah. To come it back gets to be it. a lot whenever you have a line of cards, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It goes for in a game like that. <laughs> clearly, so <sorry>. Clearly <laughs> you remembered. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but we'll see you next time on Saturday for Blood Rage. Blood Rage! Bye-bye, everybody.